all x squared minus 6 plus 29 equal to 0 expressing the solution in the simplest form uh, x is equal to a plus or minus b root c i where a b c are rational numbers okay now this is a complex equation so uh, let us look at how to do it okay so yeah we're going to use the method called compl uh, factorizing or solving by completing square so let me write this so this is x squared minus 6x plus 29 is equal to 0. So the first step I'm going to uh, write x squared minus 6x. I'm going to leave some space here, plus 29. Ignore this 29 for a while. So now to make this a complete square, what you do is you half of negative 6 is negative 3 and square square it. So negative 3 squared is 9. So I'm adding 9 and then taking away 9. So this becomes a perfect square. Uh, this 3 is a perfect square. And we're going to do something here. Okay. So the next step, let me change color. So this is x minus 3 the whole squared plus, what is 20? This is minus 9 plus 20 or 29 minus 29 minus 9 is 20 equal to 0. Okay, now by definition, I hope you know if you learn complex number, i is a complex number, i is square root of negative 1. Okay, so i squared is negative 1. So I'm going to write uh, this 20. The next step, can I write like this? This is x minus 3 the whole squared minus uh, can I write this as 20 times negative 1 equal to 0? I want to make this positive. I, I want to write plus 20. So I'm putting a minus here. And I'm writing this is minus 20 times. Sorry, this is minus minus 20. So let me change this and let me write like this. So can I write like this? This is minus minus 20 equal to 0. Okay. So this is x minus 3 the whole squared minus this negative 20 can be written as 20 times minus 1 equal to 0. So this is x minus 3 the whole squared minus this instead of minus 1 I'm going to write i squared because minus 1 is nothing but i squared. Okay so this becomes x minus 3 the whole squared minus 20 is four four times five so square so i can write square root of 20 okay i'm confusing myself so yeah 20 can i write this as square root of 20 i the whole squared okay uh so what can i do now okay so this is i'm getting let me change color so this is x minus 3 the whole squared minus 2 root 5 i the whole squared now the reason i wrote 20 uh, square root of 20 the whole squared i hope you know understand square root of 20 the whole squared is 20 okay and square root of 20 square root of 20 is square root of 4 times square root of 5 and square root of 4 is 2. So this is 2 root 5. Square root of 20 is 2 root 5. So let me bring back my green color. So this is x minus 3 minus 2 root 5i and x minus 3 plus 2 root 5i equal to 0. So now if you set both of them equal to 0, I can say x is 3 plus 2 root 5i or x is 3 minus 2 root 5i. So the final answer is x is equal to 3 plus or minus 2 root 5i. Where a, when you compare this with the form that is given, that they have asked you to write, your a, so let me write, so they wanted us to write like this, a plus b root c i. 
So comparing with this with this, your A is 3, your B is 2, and your C is 5. 